Hello beautiful people, my name is Bridget and welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all having an awesome day and today's video is going to be about the new Jeffree Star liquid lipstick expansion. I bought three shades from his new expanded you know, liquid lipstick formula. It is my favorite liquid lipstick formula. So today I'm going to try them, compare them to other colors that I own from his collection to see which, like, what kind of shade it is. Because I feel like it's better to see it in person than it is to see it on swatches online just because... I mean, I guess I'm still online to you, but you know, I just feel like it's different to see on someone's face rather than just swatches of it. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started, you guys. All right, as a quick disclaimer, if you do not like Jeffree Star videos or anything, it's kind of weird that you clicked on it, one. And two, this is my job. People like to see Jeffree Star related videos and I do what people want. People don't give drama channels, you know, crap for talking about people they don't like and just like, you know, getting money off of it, but they hate YouTubers getting money off videos you know, it's weird. It's a weird complex. If you don't like it, I do upload five times a week. I'm sure some of my other videos would appease you. So it's a weird disclaimer I have to give. I know it's kind of awkward, but anyways, let's go ahead and get started. I picked up three shades. There was a whole bunch of new shades, but I picked up three that I thought would use like on the daily because I didn't want anything too bizarre. So I picked up the shade Deep Pockets, Gated Community, which I'm a little nervous about because it's very fair, and Misery, which is more of the kind of red tone. So I have two nudes and a red. Let's go ahead and get started swatching them, comparing them to other colors before we put them on my mouth. Oh yeah, I didn't give a quick shout out to my brand, The Open Crypt, um, theopencrypt.com and on Instagram. I have a whole bunch of new stuff I just launched on there and I'm working really hard on it. So if you guys want to support it, I'd appreciate it. And we have tons of like cool wax melts and candles and other accessories and earrings and stuff too. But let's get started. The first shade we're going to start swatching is Deep Pockets. So I'm going to give this one a swatch now. This one was not clicked. So like, you know how there's like a click snap on the liquid lipsticks? This one have a click on it. Um, when I first got it, so I'm glad it's not dried out. But here is the shade Deep Pockets. It's more of a brown tone. So I was thinking it looks kind of like Dominatrix. Dominatrix is a very deep, dark brown. So I wanted to compare it to a shade that I love that is discontinued, and that is Daddy, which is Manny Mue's collaboration with Jeffree Star back in the day. So as you can tell, it's much... Deep Pockets is much deeper, more rich, more of a warm tone compared to the cool tone Daddy, which does look dark on me already. So I think this is gonna look real dark on me, but I don't have a shade that matches this at all from him. So that's pretty good because everything else I have from him that has kind of this brown warm tone has more of a red to it. So this one's really different than anything I already own. So that's good. I want a little bit, you know, more different stuff in my collection sometimes. I feel like I sound raspy. It's like first thing in the morning that I'm filming. So I feel like I, I still have like a, a rasp. <laughs> Anyways, the next shade that we are going to be swatching is Misery, which is the darkest of the three that I picked up. So it has kind of like this red tone to it. And let's go ahead and give it a swatch. So it has kind of a red tone, but it's also kind of berry. I can't tell if this is just a deep red or a berry tone. Let's compare it to other reds in the collection. Okay, so Misery is probably gonna be more likely to more of a red rum, but deeper. So I'm not really sure. I thought androgyny would be a good match for this, but here is Misery. Then this is androgyny. Androgy androgyny looks super light compared to Misery, which is really weird. And this one right here is I'm Shook. It looks darker in the tube than it did in person, um, but Misery is very deep. I thought androgyny would be a close match to it just from like the swatch online. Definitely not. I think it's be more of a rich red cranberry kind of color. Again, maybe more close to like unicorn blood, but I don't own unicorn blood in my collection. Now the last shade that I'm hoping to be my favorite because it is more of like a regular everyday nude and I need those everyday nudes, you know, is Gated Community. Now this one, I was like hesitant about buying online. So I was picking out colors because I know I was looking at three. I was picking out colors and I compared the swatch online of this one compared to the shade Jeffree's nudes because the shade Jeffree's nudes is like a concealer color on me and I don't know how anyone's wearing that as a lipstick to be honest. So this one does look darker online by a significant amount closer to Hidden Hills which is my favorite nude. So I'm hoping this one's good. So this one, Gated Community, is more of a cool toned gray everyday looking nude which looks nice. It's a little more on the mustardy end than more of like towards the warm. So I'm hoping this will look good without making my teeth look super yellow. I do have the shade Jeffree's nudes which is like this one's Gated Community, this one's Jeffree Nudes. Definitely significantly lighter. And like, this shade just looks terrible on me. I don't know. So there's Jeffree's Nudes. <laughs> I know Jeffree's pale and everything, but oh my God, <laughs> his nudes are concealers. And let me also swatch it next to a more gray tone nude, which is Posh Spice. 
it's kind of close to posh spice. I would say it's more on the mustardy end compared to posh spice. So it's posh spice. It looks a little bit warm considering posh spice is usually like a gray on me. There's that one. Let me also compare it to Hidden Hills, which is like my go-to everyday nude. And Hidden Hills looks a lot more warm compared to Gated Community, Hidden Hills. So this is gonna be interesting. Let's go ahead and get swatching on the mouth so we can see how they look. All right, doing these swatches now, I feel like I have cat hair on my face. Doing the swatches on the mouth now, we're gonna start out in the same order that I already did them. So we're gonna start with Deep Pockets, which was more of that brown tone. Really weird. I will give Jeffrey credit though, where credit is due. His lipstick colors are not like minuscule off. They're actually significantly different colors, which I appreciate. Alright, so this is the shade Deep Pockets, which looks really nice. It doesn't make my teeth look too yellow because, you know, I hate lipsticks that do that, but that's what the shade looks like. I really like the tone. I think it's really cool because it has like more of a green to it instead of like a red based brown, which is kind of funky and kind of cool and kind of everything. I feel like with a really um, pale like eyelid moment, like a really fair light moment and then this dark lip I think it'd be really cool so deep pockets good 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 glad I didn't waste money on this all right so the next shade we're doing is misery which is this deep red kind of color hoping it's not streaky though because that's what I have an issue with with a lot of dark colors is it's streaky so let's go ahead and find out if this is more of a red or a pink because it swatched out look like both right now I'm looking kind of red with a little bit of berry hue Alright, so this is the shade Misery. I think it's really pretty. It does have a little bit more of a, like a deep raspberry tone to it rather than just like a straight up red, which I think is really pretty. Now this definitely would not have worked with Jeffree's original wands in his lipsticks because they had more furries on it and with a dark color like this, it was hard to get like a straight clean lip line because you know the furries would get in the way of the whatever. So glad he changed that, but it looks really pretty. I would say, especially on edges or if you overline your lips, I would say maybe finesse, let it dry down a little bit, finesse a little bit of second layer, but definitely not bad at all. So this is the shade Misery. I'm close. You can see where you can see you could kind of finesse an extra layer in there, but I felt like it was fine, especially from far away. Like you're not going to tell you need an extra anything. It looks really good. So let's move on to the last one, which is Gated Community. All right, last shade is Gated Community. This is the more nudie one that had like mustardy tones to it. So hopefully it doesn't look like a baby diaper. <laughs> um, so let's go ahead and look. All right, so this is the shade Gated Community. Here's what it looks like up close. Obviously, I think it would look a little better if I didn't have like red staining underneath my mouth, you know, because I did just scrub off two other lipsticks. However, the color itself, Ah, I feel like my teeth could look a little wider, you know, like, uh, it doesn't really help that aspect too much. But the color itself is very pretty. I like the coolness of it. I think it looks very elegant. There's something about this that just looks very professional, elegant to me. I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy. Maybe I am. It's fine. I really like it. I really like this color. Like, it's, it's different than, like, my other ones because I feel like Posh Spice is more just like a gray, you know? I feel like Hidden Hills is more of just an everyday nude with a little bit more coolness to it. And then, like... This one's really pretty. I like this one. I like this one a lot. So I'm honestly really shocked that I like all three of these because honestly, I don't buy too many liquid lipsticks because I always fear that they look pretty online and they'll look terrible on me and then I won't like them. So the fact that I like all three of these is really impressive. <laughs> It's like really, I feel like I did a really good job picking colors this time. So thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Let me know which one is your favorite down below. We have Deep Pockets. Gated Community and Misery as the three options here. I just think they look really nice. Let me know if you want to see more videos like this in the future. Let me know if you don't. I don't care. You can let me know either way. And thank you guys so much oh, for watching today's video. You were really up close and I have no idea why I left you up close like that. But thank you guys so much. Have a great day wherever you are. Bye.